some more disturbing education statistics that actually indicate that 11 percent of standard eight pupils in the country cannot execute simple standard two classwork especially in mathematics this is according to a report released by the Uwezo Kenya. The research further reveals that the worst affected group are pupils in public schools in an indication that learning levels in the public education system continue to decline. Well, KTN visited Machakos County to put to test these findings. Catherine Lomando has the rest of that report. Machakos County is where our story begins. 13-year-old Mudel Mwende, who is in Standard 7, is about to be tested by volunteers from Uwezo, Kenya. Mudel is a pupil at a local public primary school. She seems shy. However, she's ready to answer the questions in front of her sister-in-law, who for today will act as her guardian. We learn about them in school. The second task is reading and comprehension. A long time ago, there was a cow. She lived in a big forest. The forest had very wild animals. Some animals used to kill her and others. One day, the cow gave birth to a calf. She, she liked it very much. She did, not, she did not want the animals to eat it. One morning, the cow went to, to the lion. She wanted him her reading is quite good by most standards, however she gets stuck on the comprehension part of the exercise. Keep in mind that she's being tested at standard 2 level. Outside his house, the man loved the animals. He made a cow shed for them. The cow never went back to the forest. Why did they run away? They found Tom. Um, a man outside in house. Chumamosi ilikuwa siku ya soko mtaani bed. Baba hali. Hali ya muka hasubui na mapema kuelekea sokoni. Ilikuwa kawaida yake kupeleka fitu sokoni. Baba hali muita wanda, wanda mane hadi sokoni. Siku hiyo walibeba fitu vingi. Walichukua miyago. Piazi na mbuzi wawili. Walipofika sokoni, waliwakuta watu wengi wamefika. Walisaidiana kupa, kupanga vitu na kuanza kuuza. Watu waliwaonea wali, wali wivu kwa kuuza, kuuza vitu haraka. Wali, walimaliza kuuza na kuanza kurudi nyumbani. Baba halimunulia. Hali viatu kama zawadi. Hali. Hali tamani siku ya soko ifike tena. Baba aliamuka mapema kuelekea wapi? Even Kiswahili seems to give her trouble. Baba hali mnulia hali viatu kama zawadi. Math time. Mudo is given sums to complete, even though she's going to sit for her Kenya Certificate of Primary Education examinations next year. Standard two level subtraction takes her about a minute to complete. Next test: general knowledge. The examiners give her a second attempt, and in this try, she gets two out of three. Now meet eight-year-old Peace Mukonyo. She goes to a private school and is in class two. Unlike Mudeo, Peace is much more confident when tested. A long time ago, there was a cow. She lived in a big forest. The she may make mistakes as she reads. However, Peace comprehends what she reads in both Kiswahili and English. Why did the cow and a calf run away? The lion rode at them. Araka wali maliza kuuza na kuanza kurudi nyumbani. Baba ali Nunulia ali viatu.
mtu kama zawadi ali ali tamani siku ya soko imefika tena Kwa nini ali alitamani siku ya soko ifike tena Baba ali ali baba ali mnunulia ali viatu kama zawadi she has learned to understand what she's learning and has even devised a counting method that seems to work very well for her. And when it comes to general knowledge, These two pupils represent the country's education system. Sadly, Mudel, through no fault of her own, represents the inadequacies within the public school system. When you go to a children in Standard 3, for instance, who have already finished Standard 2, you give them Standard 2 work, only around 30% of them will be able to uh, demonstrate competences or outcomes of Standard 2, which means 70% of them proceeded to Standard 3 without having covered uh, Standard 2 work. And that happens for every grade. If you go to standard four, you give them standard two work, only half of them, around 50%, will be able to do it. The two girls were being asked questions from the booklet written by Wezo Kenya. They are among children aged 6 to 16 from 157 districts who were tested at home over a period of four years. Maybe our focus is too much uh, on schooling and the quantity of schooling and how many years of schooling you are doing without paying attention to the quality of education that we are offering. According to the report, Machakos district had a 60% pass rate, meaning the children who were tested, only 60% can actually do class 2 work. Now, among the districts that performed the worst was Ijara, Turkana South, as well as Laisamis. They scored not more than 40%. Now it's up to the government to take this report and find a solution so that they can ensure that the candidates that they churn out of schools can actually think for themselves and know general knowledge. Catherine Omwando, KTN.